Hey, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, how's everybody doing this morning? It is 427 a.m. here in good old southern New Jersey. Couldn't sleep last night. My back was killing me. I was tossing and turning, so I figured, you know something? I'm not going to lay here no more. I'm going to get up, uh, come in this bedroom here and hang out and do what I love doing, and that's showing knives and talking about knives. But yesterday I've been fiddling, <clears throat> I've been fiddling around with all these um, old timers and I, um, I put them all together and I didn't realize how many I really had um, because I am just, I'm telling you, um, I really like these old timers. I really, really like them a lot. The USA produced old timers. They are much, much different than the uh, Chinese-made ones. Um, you can tell immediately. Um, I know I can tell um, right away as soon as I put my uh, eyes on them or touch them. Or, it's very easy pick off for me, for me, to tell uh, the U.S. produced and the Chinese uh, produced uh, old-timers. <laughs> But once you try a U.S. produced old timer, you'll never go back. You will never go back. I promise you that. Um, just for the fit and finish, the quality, um, the way they look, there is a certain way they do look. Um, trust me, there is a way they look. Um, and overall, I think that you'll just be happier with the purchase, with the package. <laughs> Me saying that, I just want to go over a few of these pieces with you. Um, just show you what I have so far. I am not by no means done collecting these old timers. Um, I'm still collecting them. Um, I still love them very, very much. And um, they're a big part um, of my collecting right now. Um, subject, subject to change, of course. Because that's the way us knife guys are. We're always switching it up. We're always changing. We're always on to new, uh, new things, and, and and that's the way we, we it works. I know that's the way it works with me. I've changed so many times with uh, companies, knives, and and just you know uh, traditionals, moderns. I went down just about every avenue there is to go down in the cutlery game, the cutlery world. <laughs> But lo and behold, um, this is where I'm at right now in my collecting. And um, I'm enjoying these old timers right now. So what we'll do is we'll show a couple of these. Uh, just give you a look quickly. And um, hopefully the video, it's not going to take long. I just want to show you a couple of these pieces that I have out. Most of them are all duplicates, really. But uh, we'll, give a, we'll give a look at these. So this one here, right off the bat, is a heavy hitter. Um, this is one of my very, very favorite pieces. I'm going to say they're my favorite pieces all the way. You're going to hear me say that a lot because, man, I can't decide which ones I love <laughs> more. Um, but this is a great piece. This is the uh, 60T. This is the Golden Bear. This is the Golden Bear. Um, but this is just an outstanding outstanding piece of cutlery um it's so lightweight um it's not a brick in your pocket it feels awesome in your on your hip um it's just a wonderful piece um also um hold on a minute i'll show you the sheath here is of the highest quality you can see that right there um guys i promise you you'll never find a sheath um, with this kind of quality. Um, it is, it is very, very good quality. Some of the best quality I've seen in a, uh, sheath, in a sheath. It is that good, guys. Believe me, it's that good. I'll put that aside over there. <clears throat> Excuse me. But this is just a fantastic piece. If you get the opportunity and I'll be saying that a lot. If you get the chance or the opportunity to pick one of these up, do it. Just do it. Um, you can see the fit and finish is just outstanding. Um, really good fit and finish. Look at the lanyard hole. Let me see if I could 
the lanyard hole is absolutely, see how they recess that lanyard hole? Look how well done that lanyard hole is. Look at that. Um, just a great piece. Just give you a look at it again. Look at that blade. Look at that blade. Um, absolutely uh, fantastic pieces. Just a great piece. Great piece. Um, what do we have here? Moving right along. This is just, if you're looking for an EDC, uh, what, what is this? This is the 50T. If you're looking for, <clears throat> excuse me, it's early in the morning. If you're looking for the ultimate EDC knife, I do believe that this one might be it. It is so lightweight. It is feathers feathers in your hand it's so strong locked back locked up tight um just a beautiful piece you got this dark green saw cut delrin dark green saw cut delrin which is beautiful you got this brass bolster here brass pins brass inlay uh brass liners and just a wonderful wonderful piece i'm really really happy to have this and proud to have this in my collection. Um, this is just a great piece. What did I say it was? It's the 50T. It's the 50T. I've got two of these guys. Okay. Trying not to take up too much time. We'll dance back over here again. This little bugger is one of the best pocket droppers. Church carry, however you want to say it. But it's really not church carry. It's strong. It's a strong little piece, man. Um, this is the 3 4 OT. Uh, let's give you a look at it real quick. Let's do them justice, you know. Let's really show, uh, show them. Flip them around. There it is. That's the, is this the 3 4 OT? Yeah. Yeah. This is the 3-4-O-T, uh, the little Stockman, and this is just unbelievable. All these blades are all carbon steel. They're all carbon blades, and um, it's just unbelievable. I love this knife. I love this knife. Um, I love it because it's the perfect size. Um, it's the perfect just about everything. Um, you can just put it in your fifth pocket drop it in your fifth pocket you can just put this in a little slip um you it gets lost you you don't even know what's on you you won't even know what's on you but this is just a wonderful wonderful piece i highly recommend on getting one of these you will not be disappointed if you picked one of these up um just a great piece just an just an outstanding piece of cutlery, guys. Really, really, really are. Really, they really are. Got them back there. I got quite a few of them, as you can see. What do I got? One, two, three. I got four of them. This guy here, this is the 8OT. This is the, um, everybody knows what this is. This is the 8OT, and you could also get it in the serrated blade, the uh, Warncliffe. I mean the uh, sheep's foot in the um, the Warncliffe, uh, the, um, it's early in the morning, the uh, sheep's foot in the, um, whatchamacallit, the, um, the serrations, that's the word, serrations, this one doesn't have the serrations on the blade, <clears throat> see this one uh, don't have the serrations, but giving you a look at this here, it's hard to work around this camera, I tell you that. It's a chore. But there you have it. This is the 8OT. There you see it, 8OT. And this might be the ultimate um, EDC uh, carry. I mean, it's so good. I mean, everybody knows what the 8OT is. I mean, it speaks for itself. It really speaks for itself. And it's just an outstanding, outstanding knife. Um, they're out there. I mean, if you're looking for these, you can find them. You can find them lightly used. You don't have to get these brand new. 
I wouldn't <clears throat> I wouldn't recommend getting them brand new. You could get them um slightly used. You don't have to get them brand new. Um let's go over here. This is the 940T. This is the liner lock. You can see the liner lock here and this one is just I love this. <laughs> I'm not going to I told myself I wasn't going to keep saying it. But this is just awesome in the hand. You have this long, slender uh, Turkish clip blade that just is so sharp. Um, it's locked up super, super tight with this liner lock here. And to disengage it, it's just, I mean, the action, you can see the snap. Everything is so well done on this piece. So well done. The fit and finish. The fit and finish is beautiful. Look at the fit and finish. Um, just an outstanding piece, guys. The 940T, it's a good, good, good pocket knife. I hear one of my favorite pocket knives in the collection. One of my favorites in the collection. And then we got this guy here, the 890T. This is the one with the serrations. Okay, I'll show you, give you a look at that here. There's the serrations. This is the one with the serrations. I like this one better than the 8OT, um, just because I like to have these serrations uh, on my blade. I don't need all flats. Um, they're just, you could see, I'd take one blade with the serrations just for uh, rope cutting, any kind of vigorous, uh, anything that I would encounter that's real, real hard to cut. This is what you want with you right here, the serrations. Look at these scallops, how deep those scallops are. Look how beautiful them scallops are. Just an outstanding, I mean, if I had to pick one, guys, I, I wouldn't know which one I would want to pick as far as, um, as far as having to pick just one. I just couldn't, I couldn't decide. I couldn't decide on which one I would pick. And this last one back here, I saved it till last. Yes, this is my Schrade Walden. And this is my favorite. This is my favorite piece. Um, I just love it. Um, I love the jig um, work on it. The lockup, the snap is awesome. Um, the, 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 everything is just spot on for me. Look at that jigging, how beautiful it is. The fit and finish is so good on it. Um, it's such a good blade. It's such a good blade. I'm so happy to have this one in my collection. Um, real, real happy to have this one in my collection. There it is. There's all my uh, old timers, guys. There are my old timers. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, drop me a comment if all possible. If not, I understand that too. Um, yeah. Let me know what's going on. We'll chop it up. Let's talk old timers. We'll chop it up. As uh, HTEDC would say, chop it up. All right, guys. Be good, be well, be safe. Have a great weekend. And, um, yeah, we're coming up into the weekend here. So um, get ready for it. You guys take care. Bye-bye.